Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday. And it's, uh, for most of you, that's like one more day of the work week. <clears throat> for some of us, it's our hump day. It's my Wednesday. No, actually, technically, yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's like my Wednesday. So anyway, uh, it's time for a reading, and I hope... Everyone is uh, paying attention. Are you awake? I mean, not just this morning, but in general. Are you awake? Are you paying attention to the bigger picture? Or have you been focused on your own little corner of the world? Okay. So, a good morning smudge to start your day. It's important to start your day out in a high vibration, positivity, ready to embrace all the cool, groovy things of the world. Whew. Okay, so there's our good morning smudge. All right, um, I don't know, I keep feeling the spellcaster deck. You know, this deck is like my best friend, not, not my, my best friend, but like the best friend. Uh, very uh, to the point, not a lot of guessing games, will tell you if you have spinach in your teeth, and then also will tell you if you've been making unwise choices in your life. Really and kind of important <clears throat> to do self-reflection uh, periodically and make sure that you are being your authentic self. And that you are treating uh, yourself in a good way. Thus, that you would be able to treat other people in a good way. Really important. I had a client this week. And my client was talking about how... Okay, there we go. Uh, don't go away. Let me go down here and get those cards. We got about five cards in this, so, um, yeah, you'll want to, uh, probably, uh, get your cup of coffee and your morning recreation, whatever that may be, uh, whether it's a snack or a Scooby snack, I don't care. Uh, we got five cards and there's some heavy, uh, duty insightful stuff coming up. I still have like smoke coming up from my a smudge bundle. So let's take a look at the first card. Alright, don't start freaking out. Don't start freaking out. You're looking at this and you're going, oh my gosh. It's good luck. It's upside down. That means it's not good luck. Nah, it doesn't always mean not good luck. It just means that there's not any nothing here is by luck. Nothing here is by luck. This is going to be purely what you place into it is what you're going to be receiving back. That's what this card is talking about here. It's talking about what you put out is what you're going to receive. So keep that in mind. That's some heavy-duty vibe. Heavy-duty energy when you think about this. Um, all about accountability. Nothing about luck. Okay, the focus here is home. And be this is a like a 5-6 card read. So I'm going to look at this card as the obstacle. Now, home was really important earlier in the week on one of the other readings. Home, focusing on the home, balancing in the home was really important. Now, today, when we look at this, home has become an obstacle, being focused too much on or distracted by what's going on in your own little corner, in your own world, in your own sacred space. Uh, that we're being too focused on that and not paying attention or putting attention to what's going on outside of 
And I'm going to say outside of our safety net. What's going on outside of your safety net may be things that you can't control that uh, you're focusing all your fo you're focusing all your energy and uh, into what's going on in your own space that we're not paying attention to what's going on around us. So let's look at the next card and see where that's going to lead us to. We're going to um, disillusionment. Disillusionment. Um, sometimes we don't put enough energy, enough focus into what's going on around us because we're concentrating on what's going on inside us or, you know, embracing us. And often we can um, miss the little details or miss the red flags is what I'm getting here because we're so focused or, or are focused here and things are going on over there and we're not paying attention to what's over here and it's going to impact what's going on here in our world or our own little corner. So this is in a, a, a wake-up call, in essence, is what we're looking at, the energy coming in to pay attention to what's going on in the outer area, the outer realm of you, uh, because things are going on and you may not, as in we look at this card here, you may not like it. It may not be something that is of your vibe, but you're stuck right in the middle of it. Okay, um, this card is kind of uh, brutal, and I'm gonna, and that's the word I'm gonna use with that. This card is kind of brutal because the energy that's lingering with that here is. Um, And I'm getting grieving in silence. Grieving in silence with that. It's something that uh, your disappointment in what's going on is something that you really can't share with others or be really verbal about. And that you'll have to hold a lot of that energy within or inside and grieve through that rather um, in, in hiding. You can't let somebody know exactly how hard your feelings have been hurt um, or how heartbroken that you are. Um, the little scene I have playing in my head is like um, a Robert, Robert De Niro kind of guy. You know, um, if you think about him when he plays the old gangsters and stuff, and he's looking down at a kid, and we don't have to cry about, we don't cry about things. We don't ever let anybody, and it's kind of like not being allowed to truly process some of your anger and grief and sadness, and that you have to be really quiet about it in order to um, experience that grieving. Now, I like this card. Because this has been one of the things that um, I've been kind of um, looking at as a whole. You know, we as a people, um, are we going to uh, be successful? Are we going to have our needs met? Are we going to have things taken care of? And I'm laughing because I'm looking at this picture and I swear it looks like broccoli. I must be hungry. Um, and remember, broccoli's brain food, too. So, uh, I think that what we're looking at here is that right now, um, don't be too panicked about, about money coming in, but how are you managing your money? Start putting forth uh, an effort to manage your money a little bit more um, cautiously. Are you stuffing something back for a rainy day? Really important to do that because uh, we do have some rainy days coming. Now, where is this ending today? Are we going to at least 
be able to enjoy our day? Yes. Are we going to enjoy our evening? Oh, yes. Um, the final card here today in today's reading is the Life Purpose card. And it's a... And I like this because we're in a full moon, so I've got my little full moon up there. And then reflections of that season. Uh, we're in perfect timing. Everything that is occurring in our life and our path are things that are supposed to be occurring in our path and in our life. Some things are really beautiful, as we had a really beautiful experience about being in our home and loving on our home. And then sometimes we have to step outside of our home and get back into a sense of reality. And I think that it's finding this balance between uh, home and work, uh, and I'm going to say pain and pleasure. Um, I don't know why, but it's we have to find this balance. You have to experience... Uh, you have to experience a little bit of yuck or minutia, pain in your life to really kind of enjoy, embrace, and elevate the good, groovy, cool things that do occur in your life. So, peace, love, and happiness. I hope everybody, ha or har harmony and happiness, I hope everybody has a great day. We have a couple of things coming up. We have a Reiki at the Lake uh, Sunday morning, 10 a.m., east side of the dock, Little Arbor, hopefully. If that's taken already by that time, we'll probably be over at the Big Arbor, uh, which is on the south side of the lake. Um, everything's really close in proximity, and that's Crystal Lake over at Southwest 15th and MacArthur. Uh, it's down this like little hidden road, almost, that will be for Riverside um, Salvage and Precision Drive, some kind of tool thing. Uh, in December, I have a Certified Angel Healing Practitioner class. Guys, it's $200. It's a two-day class. You're certified to do angel healings after that. Come try this class. It's wonderful. Uh, and we also have Reiki classes that will be listed up on the uh on our Facebook page, and I am working on kind of revamping the web page at OklahomaReikiConnection.com. I think that's what it is. Uh, anyway, whoo! Uh, it is time for me to get ready for work. I've got clients coming in. Uh, busy day to day. Uh, we've got a lot of cool, groovy things on sale. For the month of October, I've got three different readings. That's your personal private reading. Face-to-face, uh, -face, um, it's listed on the scheduling. Uh, just check my Facebook page and it'll have the link. Um, and I will repost it for all of the other pages too. So peace, love, harmony. See you guys later.